Top of the morning to you. It's your brother Bedford. Just wanted to share my morning thoughts with you. I was out here getting this work in, getting a workout in. Um, I was reflecting on our brother Kobe Bryant, the great Kobe Bryant. And like yourself, you've probably seen hundreds if not thousands of interviews and tributes um, about our brother. And so I was reflecting this morning on two of his great attributes that I've heard consistently out of the hundreds of interviews and profiles and documentaries. These two dynamic attributes remain consistent. And I said, wow, right, let me kind of see if I can think. I've been thinking about this for over a week because um, I saw it immediately, but I just kept thinking about it and, and just kept seeing it over, kept seeing it and hearing it over and over and over again. These two dynamic attributes that our brother possessed that allowed him to grow into being the person that he was and is. And I also reflected on how these attributes can be embraced and utilized by us as which one just human beings period <laughs> but as entrepreneurs and business owners how these attributes could really help us to manifest whatever greatness we're attempting to manifest in our life right so these two attributes i mean it's to a t with the interviews i heard from all of the legends the number one attribute that stuck out to me was kobe bryant's curiosity all of the legends talked about when he came into the league at 17 and 18 years of age, how this brother literally would call them or corner them before or after a game and spend hours asking questions about their moves, their thinking on the court, their, their history, all types of things. And he would take that, and I'm only going to assume that he would take that and he would go back to his laboratory and study it and then see how it best fits him and then he would take it and put it into action i don't know about you but when i was growing up i heard the term over and over again and i know many of you can attest to this curiosity kill the cat um and now obviously it's not what 40 years later that i hear the second half of that you know and satisfaction <laughs> brought him back but we were taught at a young age to not be curious when we went to school, we weren't allowed to ask questions on things that we weren't clear about or that we didn't understand. We went to church. If we something didn't seem right, the pastor was teaching something, don't question God, don't question this. And so curiosity, our natural born curiosity has been killed in us. But Kobe Bryant didn't let that die. He embraced his curiosity and he used it every time chance he could even all the way up until his death he was still asking questions and learning about new ventures new industries he had the humility to absorb whatever it is that they were sharing like a sponge so curiosity the second attribute this brother had a relentless work ethic no one outworked kobe bryant if you listen to a lot of the stories, you, you would even hear some of the, the, the competitors joking, saying Kobe would tell them, you know, uh, I, I can't remember exactly. I think it was, uh, I, I don't want to mess up the name right now, but uh, they were talking about how they were getting ready to tell Kobe before they play, so I'm getting ready to go work out. And then Kobe would say, well, man, you don't need to go work out. Now, what you working out for? You're in the NBA now, right? <laughs> and then the guy said, well, that's cool. Then they left and then he goes to the gym to work out and he said he looks up and he say who do he see <laughs> down at the other end of the gym working out and it was Kobe Bryant down there sweating and working out so he was he was actually picking with the guy and the guy said ah this guy these mind games right tell me not to work but he's putting that work in for hours and became a master at his craft too many of us want somebody else to do the work for us right Someone is going to build my business for me. It's not going to happen. I don't care what they tell you. I don't care how easy they say it is. If you're not willing to put in the work, if you don't develop 
a work ethic where you're getting up, thinking about what you're trying to do. You're sleeping, dreaming about it. I'm not talking about it in an obsessive way. I'm talking about at least having it on your mind to think about what it is that you need to do the following day to get going, to get that work in. Curiosity and a relentless work ethic. Two great attributes that I've learned and I'm embracing from Kobe Bryant and I want to take for my next 50 years and apply them. And in truth, if you really think about it, the only time that success comes before work is in the dictionary. <laughs> That's the only time you'll find success before work. So you got to be curious. You want to ask questions. You want to talk to people, people who've been there and done that. You want to absorb those lessons, that knowledge, that wisdom, and that understanding. You want to take it and apply it. Then you want to work it, man. Day and night, you want to work it. We've gotten too accustomed to this lazy mentality that somebody else is going to do the work for. Now, it's intentional, but that's another conversation for another day. Now that we know that we got to put that work in, there's really no excuses left. All right? So now if you want to get on the phone and talk to me, Let's ask some questions, right? See how I may be able to help you with your business. And then together, maybe we can put that work in <laughs> to make some things happen. Just go to brobedford.com. Scroll down to where it says call, schedule a call. Schedule a call. Let's get on the phone. Let's see if we can make some magic. There's no arm twisting, nothing like that. I'm, I just enjoy talking to my brothers and sisters and seeing the light bulbs come on. All right? And myself as well. So let's put this work in. So I'm getting ready to go hit the showers and then get into that other work. Again, you can go to brobedford.com, schedule a call. But these two great attributes of Kobe Bryant, that's how I want to honor his legacy. It's not going to be wearing a jersey. It's going to be being like a child, staying curious, asking questions, and then putting that work in. So this is your brother Bedford, and let's get that work in. Talk to you soon.